Besides the technical aspect of it, um, definitely the acting, the performance, working with the props. That's what makes skating unique as an entertainment form, is that it is this unusual hybrid of athletics and um, dance and theatricality. Sarah, in 1999 to be champion of the night, Scott told me, he said, Tommy, you will never regret hiring Sarah Karahara. Tell and it's Sarah. the truth, Scott. Okay, this is Sarah's note on the show. There you go. Very nice. Forgot the arms. Good. Here's Opera Scotty Stop. thing about the field of skating is that actually music does normally come first and when we're trained as skaters we spend much time looking for music that inspires us um, as skaters and uh, hopefully we find something that we like the coach approves it and we explore it together and we put a piece together um, inspired by the music. Sarah, I'm skating and choreographing while I'm at school. Um, I wish I could be there on this very, very special night. You've been so amazing, um, a big part of my life. You've inspired me, you've motivated me to be a better skater, and more importantly, a better person. And I think that I could say that you've inspired and motivated many, many people. You're a great person, you're a great mother, you're a great choreographer, you're just, you're just it, Sarah. And um, congratulations again, and have a wonderful evening. This is Sarah Kauhara Alcraft, the mother of three beautiful children, and she's not stressed at all. You want to take us on a tour? We will be going around the city, and we will be going off on the rooftop, lunging down the <laughs> I have speed skaters and hockey skaters and figure skaters and teachers and recreational skaters and children and students and <laughs> I have absolutely every walk of life in this community. I must say that with this community I have not compromised my picture one iota. They have really risen to the uh, challenge of the choreography and it's been so enlightening and so enriching.
bad figure skating movies are based on reality. <laughs> this one doesn't even sniff reality. What we did is we, we worked with Sarah Karahara, who is an amazing skate choreographer. It's been really exciting because I've gotten to kind of push the envelope of our skating world um, and take figure skating as we know it into kind of a fantasy oh, area. It's such a weird feeling sensation in terms of ice skating that you're just you have to kind of balance on these two thin pieces of metal, and the ice is very hard if you fall. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. When I first worked with them, I was amazed how focused they were. And all of a sudden, they're doing stuff that they're surprised, I'm surprised. I said to Sarah, this is good for your patience. You've had to be very zen through this process. They, they don't have an easy job. What is a sow cow again? A triple sow cow is when you do a sow cow three times. I knew a kid named Triple Sow Cow actually in high school and he was a jerk, so I don't like that move. You nailed it, Jimmy, you nailed it. Toe loop, <clears throat> my cousin had that. A toe loop is disgusting, frankly. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's gone like three days. It sounds like a, a deep heating balm, like tiger, tiger balm or something. A camel spin, you uh, get up on one of your toe picks and you make a slight grunt like a camel. Ah! Arching your back to make it look like you have a hump. Why do I skate? Why does the king panther hunt the gazelle? To live.